So we're doing an $850 gaming PC, so this is based on a viewer request. I don't know actually if he wanted to do a gaming PC or something else, like video editing for example. But since this is the gaming dude, it's, you know, easily gonna be a gaming PC. This PC will be playing games at 1440p and 4K and get 60 frames per second, but at 4K you'll have to lower down some settings. So without wasting any more time, let's get to it. For the CPU, we're looking at the Intel Core i5-8400, it's a 6 core processor doesn't have any hyper threading it can boost all the way up to 4.0 gigahertz not overclockable it cannot go wrong with it at all for $180 you get an equivalent performance to the R5 1600 even though the R5 1600 is overclockable but it cannot go over 4 gigahertz easily and has hyper threading but still uh, media encoding and other CPU intensive benchmarks you find the i5 8400 not far away as for gaming it's gotta be you know better than the R5 1600 in a lot of games especially when you're looking at this 144 frame rates I mean you're looking at high frame rates the Intel CPU are better than AMD's I don't know if that has to do something with the single core performance or the optimization as Intel says $480 is a great CPU as for the board we're looking at it H310M board or a B360M board because both have the same price but the B360M has mail-in rebates so yeah both you cannot overclock the CPU on them and our CPU is locked it's got all the bells and whistles you need for RAM we're only going with one stick of 8GB DDR4 RAM so you can upgrade to 16 gigs in the future for $75 you cannot go wrong and you don't have need like high RAM frequency uh, on Intel gaming PCs even though it can improve performance in some games but you'll not need that that much as much as you need to get that 16 GB of RAM in the future so yeah 8 gigs on an A310 board seems to be a good deal and a good bang for the buck now for the hard drive we're looking at a 2 terabyte hard drive you can get an ssd if you want to it's optional for your os boot drive you know you can get either the 128 gigabyte version or the 256 version depending on the programs you want to install on the ssd but as for 2 terabyte is more than enough for gaming and it will get the job done i mean 2 terabyte is a lot and you'll save a lot of games you'll be able to save a lot of games and there isn't much a price difference between a terabyte hard drive and a 2 terabyte hard drive as for the gpu we're looking at the gdx 1070 8 gigabyte gpu for 400 dollars now you can get it used from ebay for around 300 350 dollars and this is an insane deal for an insane gpu you can play games of 44p with high frame rates like expect to see 120 frame rates in the fps intensive game like rainbow six siege or fortnite for example battlefield one you'll get really impressive frame rates you never expected you'd get now if you wanna you know wait for the next gen gpu you have the option to do so if you're into that but if you got the gdx 1070 for a good deal then yeah it's not worth it in my opinion as for the power supply we're looking at the cheapest thing we can get i believe it's a 550 watt power supply or the, or the evga 500 watt power supply both will be able to power up the pc very easily i mean intel and nvidia products are known for being power efficient so you cannot go wrong with any power supply and also for the case we're looking at the cooler master master box light i believe 3.1 it's under 50 dollars got the side panel is good it's got the fans really reputable it's great a lot of people will love it and it has a great bang for the buck so yeah that's it guys if you like that video press on that like button i mean that's a quick one because it's a viewer requested video and if you ever wanted to you know make me do a pc for a certain budget uh, leave it down in the comments if so yeah thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one subscribe you know because i believe we're over 300 subscribers how about we get to 400 or even 350 and check out my other videos if you may be interested see you in the next one peace